Well, how do you do, everybody? Welcome to baseball action, crossover game, Central Suburban South versus North, as the new Trevians take on the Maine West Warriors. And another gray cold day here at Duke Child Field. Home game. Which is high and outside the ball to Jacob Cabral leading it off. For the main West Warriors. Good straight. Got the wind blowing in once more. Temperatures again in the 30s. And inside a ball. Another ball. Outfield playing somewhat shallow. And ball four. So a runner on board. And here is Matty Mustari. Mustari bets. but it doesn't matter, foul ball, hit run. Corey Scholler on deck. Foul ball back, our first wake up call of the ball game. Go to first. And the runner back, just barely. Outside of all. They look over. Pitch on the way, that one a little bit high, a ball. Can't throw the first, runner back. Another one fall off, down the line. Sorry, continues to bat here. And yet falls off another. Not the first, they got him this time. And the pickoff works. Pitch on the way, fly ball. Left fielder on the giddy up, calling everybody off. And it's an adventure, but he gets it for the out. Out number two is Corey Schuller. Takes a pitch one outside a ball. Ball back to the screen. And a little ground ball. A shortstop has it. Over to first. Came down in time, uh, and he's out at first. And the main West Warriors go quietly in the top of the first. No runs, no hits, no errors, a walk, and nobody left. Go to the bottom half of the first, and Kyle Capone winning it off. Takes a strike, strike one. Bottom of the first inning. I understand the Maine West Warriors are talking about um, changing their mascot. 
and probably keep the name the Warriors, but they've used an Indian, a Native American head mascot. They used to even have a kind of bonfire thing that they did at the football games and stuff. Have a Native American uh, costumed mascot too. That one drops, and that's going to be a little infield single for the Pony to lead off the first inning. Evan Hummel with that. Well, Deerfield's the Warriors, but they use more of a, a uh, Spartan-type character. There's a sacrifice bunt by Hummel over the first in time. Capone over the second. Anthony Clark on the batter. Well, Niles West changed their nickname. And uh, then I got there with the Indians. That's a bar. He didn't come to a stop. Hot shot foul outside of first. Five footer in the dirt of ball. And strike on the outside corner. Calarco. Cam Redding on deck. Bottom of the first inning. few games we've been able to get in. That's a base hit. Right back up the middle. Single. Fourth coldest April on record. In Chicago and it hasn't really broken to springtime at all. And outside of all, it's been nothing but kind of winter weather. Try a ball. It hasn't really affected our schedule a little bit, but that's actually more health issues than our health issues rather than uh, the weather. We lost a couple of games. Scheduled to the first and Clark will back. And pitch high a ball. Doesn't count. Gets the base anyway on the walk to Cam Redding. So with one out, two aboard, and Duke August the batter. Pitch is high, a ball, ball one. Ball. And in the dirt 
the ball. Time called. Uh, talk that one over. Two on. One out. Nice strike at the letters. And a fly ball left fielder has it and then uh, twisted ankle on the part of uh, Calarco and he couldn't get back. He would have been out anyway, I think. But anyway, we're done with the first inning. And the new trade Trevians lead at one to nothing. We'll be back with more. You're watching the Metro Chicago Sports Network. Play smart, play hard, practice harder. A message in the public interest. From the Metro Chicago Sports Network. Top of the second inning, John West High. Batter. Good low ball. Yeah, Swing and a mid strike. Metro Chicago Sports Network coverage, catch our games on demand on YouTube. And strike three, selected game, not every game. And Rostein out. And here is David Roscoe. Blowing inside a ball. Fall away. Off to the left. And a high bounder. Nice pick up by the shortstop. Throw to first. They got it. Nice play. Two down. Here's Anthony Salemi. I'm feeling terribly old. Anthony is the son of a hockey player I had many years ago. In the 70s. Yeah, fly ball. Shallow, taken by the first baseman. Alarco for the out. And the main West Warriors go quietly to second. No one, no hits, no errors, nobody left. We go to the bottom half of the second inning, and Henry Pilinski will lead it off for the Trevians. Pilinski. Alex Calarco and uh, Matt Rope. Strike, strike one. And I let's keep backing away a little bit. I pop up, shallow. And left fielder going to take it. We're out number one. Here's Alex Galerko. Ball high and tight. In the 
side wall. side of ball. <laughs> and foul the way and the count's got a hold. Marco, aboard by the walk. And Matt Roth, the batter. Now the delivery. I pop up. Everybody giving chase. Second baseman whoops he's in. But it's gonna go as a fielder's choice. They're gonna get Calarco at second. Now you can't score that as an error because it did get it out. I mean, technically, you could say, well, that was an error, but you can't because they still managed to get it out. And now, Rolt steals second. Peyton Birch, the batter. Inside the ball. Number nine, the batting order. Second inning. Going outside of ball, about to throw the second. Nobody moved to cover. Strike on the outside corner. Hit the right. Here comes the runner. Here comes the throw home. They got him. And out number three. In the inning. No runs. A hit. And one left. We played through two. Chubbies lead it. One to nothing. We'll be back. The North Shore Sports Center. This is the Metro Chicago Sports Network. At dusk, dawn, or night, make sure you turn on your lights. A message in the public interest from the Metro Chicago Sports Network. Top of the third inning. Alec Pat goes. Wings and mix and strike one. Ground ball. Perch over to Clarko for the out. One away. Here's Costa Patco. Patco. Strike on the outside corner. Bring in a mid strike. Ground ball. Third 
baseman Alex Calarco over to his brother Anthony Calarco for the out. Two up, two down. Here's Justin. Joe and he falls one off. Windshield Wacker. Pitch high a ball. John Robinson on the mound for the Trevians. The pitch on the way, and that one's high a ball. Shortstop with the base hit. First hit of the ball game for the Maine West Warriors. A little two out single. And back to the top of the batting order and Jacob Cabral hitting it off. And takes a pitch outside for a ball. That'll first run it back. High and outside of ball. Go the runner, swinging a mid strike. Go to second, not in time. And a stolen base for Justin Schuller. Dead and fouled off. Baseball action on the network. Dropped it in for strike three and in the inning, no runs, a hit and one left for the Maine West Warriors. We go to the bottom half of the third inning. And top of the banner order, due up for the Trevians. Kyle Capone. Strike. a bit. Strike. Now they pitch, a little ground ball, second baseman has it, over the first in time. Round number one, here's Evan Hummel. So Evan Hummel back. And pitch high and tight a ball. Not terribly so though. Outfield playing straight away and somewhat shallow, I'm assuming, I think, because of the cold weather. People, uh, bees in the bat and so forth. Fouled off by Hubble. Strike on the outside corner. Fall away. Count holds. Bees in the bat day and the wind blowing in. I don't think they're going to get much. Deep. And a 55 footer. Come 
outside a ball. Got down the line, that's a fair ball. Hummel on his way to second, and he will stop there with the double. And then Hummel with the double, and that's Anthony Clarko, the banner. And fall the way. They are giving up the power alley in left field. Clarko can hit it there. And he's pretty much a pull hitter, I guess. There's a strike. Clarko singled it in the first inning. Pitch a little inside of all. Wide shot, that's gonna be a gamper. And just short of a home run back to the fence. And Larko and Hummel exchange places. And pinch runner. Out there in second. for Calarco. Pete Burnside. Run it out there for him. Outside a ball. Cam running the batter. Trevians with another run. Lead it two to nothing. There's the strike. Not you, Well, they made the mistake of playing in on Clarko. Anthony going off the field. Back to back doubles here by the Trevians. Bottom of the third. Redding reaches out and falls one off. The sectional pod is set. Who's going to play in the sectional? and where the regionals and sectionals will be played. Strike, strike three. Uh, the outside corner. And that's two away. Here's Duke August. Strike on the outside corner. And sectional this year. Everyone was expecting it was gonna be at uh, Kerry Wood field like last Gary Wood Cubs Park like it was last year but it's going to be up on the hill at Loyola. Strike. Been there done that. And outside of all. Called by August. <laughs> and, uh, 
That side of the ball. Bubbled around a little bit. They look in. Pitch on the way. Again, outside the ball. Well, eventually we're going to get nice weather. Can't stay like this through July, but we've had years when it's been somewhat chilly all the way up until the start of the playoffs. Anyway, strike three on August, and we're done with the third. At the end of three, Nutria leads it two to nothing over Maine West, and we'll be back. You're watching the Metro Chicago Sports Network. Buckle up, Illinois. It's the law. A message into public interest from the Metro Chicago Sports Network. Top of the fourth inning. And leading it off is Matty Mastari. And strike on the outside corner. Well outside the ball. Scooped it and fouled away. Windchill Wacker. Pretty good shot down that right field line on the windshield. There's a ball. Actually, it doesn't happen all that often. I I, I joke about it because it heads into the parking lot there, but it really very rarely that baseballs hit the windshield. Strike three. And the story out is Corey Scholler. That's a little round ball picked up by the third baseman. Not in time. They ruled that an error. I don't know why. But they did. And a base hit single. So two on. And here's. David Roscoe. Heading to the halfway point in the ball game. Ball ball. Just for baseball on the network. All during the spring, weather permitting this year. Yeah, strike. Help enjoy. Our broadcast wherever you may be on the cable and the internet. Selected games on YouTube. My pop up foul. Giving chase and got to run out of rope. High and outside, a ball. Oh. And well outside, a ball. Another one fouled away. Oh, 
Go to second. Water back. Strike three. And Anthony Salemi, the batter. Two away. Pitch is high, a ball. Much like the basketball team, the other teams are, are marking on the size of the new Trier baseball team this year. Swing and a miss strike. They've got five players that are under six foot out of 23. Everybody else is six foot or better. So they've got 18 players that are six foot or better and five that are under six foot. Now the look in and time call. Two on, two out, top of the fourth. Nutri leading this one two to nothing. Now the look back. And they got the runner picked off. And they got him. And we're halfway home in the ball game. And the new Trier Trevians leading this one two to nothing. And Henry Pilinski will lead it off for a new Trier. High and outside a ball. New Trier hasn't played Baseball at the campus. We've had Duke Childs Field here for more than 60 years. Been uh, 60, 62, 63 years. And they have used Duke Childs Field, pitch outside a ball. Prior to that, they did play at New Trier. And, uh, well, you really couldn't call it a baseball diamond, but they had a baseball field sort of set up at uh, New Trier on Phelps Field down on the southwest corner of the field. Probably taken up now by a parking lot. And a practice field. They didn't have dugouts, they just had benches. Didn't have really an infield, just had a mound and spots for each one of the bases out there. Going inside ball four. Henry Pilinski aboard. And here's Alex Calarco. And there goes Pilinski, and he's got himself a stolen base. So Alex Calarco bats. Delivery outside a ball. Baseball action over the long here. Like everybody else in the Chicago area, we've had problems getting games in because of the weather this year. And the weather has not broken inside a ball. Well, this time of year, you expect the cooler near the lake, but you don't expect it to be 35 degrees and cooler near the lake. That's what's been going on this year. There's a strike. And only in almost more than twice as much snow this year 
as we get in a normal April. Larko fly ball. Left fielder has it for the out. And the runner will hold. And Peyton Birch, the batter. I take that back, Matt Rowe. Jumping ahead of myself. Strike. Birch is on deck. There's a butt. And it's going to go foul. Just past halfway home with the ball game. Scooped at and fouled away. And high and outside a ball. Side of ball. And another one fouled off. Run him with a lead off second. That's Pilinski out there. Lurie to Birch, and a hot shot foul off to the right. Now the lock and load, and the pitch high a ball. Well, got another action. The colder the weather, the longer the baseball game is played. <laughs> the longer it takes to play a game. I pop up. And pitcher calls for it, and a whoopsie. And run scores, and they throw to second, and it'll get Peyton Birch. But Trevins pick up another run and lead it 3 to nothing. Off a bizarre play. And we'll be back with more. On the cable and internet, this is the Metro Chicago Sports Network. Phone in one hand, ticket in the other. A message in the public interest from the Metro Chicago Sports Network. Top of the fifth inning. New pitcher on the mound, Joe Fox. Another one of the... Tall trees that the Trevians have on the pitching staff. Ball ball. Anthony Salemi bats. He gets new life. He was at bat when the runner was thrown out in second on the pickoff. Corey Scholler. So Fox on the mound. And first pitch hitting ground, or a couple of pitch hitting ground ball. Second to first for the out. And there's one away. There's Alec Pasco. Pascos. Ground ball to third. Long throw in time. Alec Pascos is out. And there's Costa Pascos. Takes a pitch outside the ball. Ground ball, 
Right to the first baseman. And three up, three down. No runs, no hits, no errors, nobody left. Very quick top of the fifth inning. We go to the bottom half of the fifth inning. And top of the batting order, Kyle Capone leads it off for the Trevians. And the ball, ball one. Strike. And a ball. Ball, ball back. Capone, Hummel, and Anthony Clarko. Go for the Trevians here in the bottom of the fifth inning. Scoop dead and a soft dying quail. Left fielder drifting over. Takes it for the out. One away. Here's Evan Hummel. And first pitch hitting fly ball out towards center. Right center. And taken one-handed. Turned out to be a little, little bit of an adventure. Might have been the wind involved in that one. Alex Calarco, the batter. And takes a strike, strike one. Scoop dead and fouled away. And high and outside a ball. They lock and load, and a 55-footer. Well, I suppose a lot of these 55-footers that we've been seeing lately, there's a line shot right at the second baseman. Well, I'll get to that. And we're done with the fifth. At the end of five, it's 3 nothing. The new church Trevians leading the Maine West Warriors. We'll be back. More action ahead on the Metro Chicago Sports Network. Texting while driving is illegal in Illinois. A message in the public interest from the Metro Chicago Sports Network. Top of the sixth inning. And Justin Scholler leads it up. He has one of the Two hits that the Warriors have this afternoon. A strike on the inside corner. And a ball. Yeah, it's all the ground ball. Homo has it. Over to Calarco for the out. One up, one down. Jacob Cabral. Better takes a strike on the outside corner. Fish it on that one. Strike. Swing and a miss, strike three, got him on the deck. Two away, and Matty Mustari, the batter. And a ball, ball one. What I was saying before, I think, uh, I tried to say uh, in the last inning, was that uh, in this cold weather that we're having, 
I think a lot of the balls falling short are the pitchers, cold hands, having trouble with the grip. Ball ball. And fall away. Off to the right. And strike three. And on the tag, they got him. And three up and three down for the main West Warriors. At the top of the sixth inning. Move quickly along to the bottom half of the frame. And Cam Redding will lay it off for the Trevians. So Cam bats. On a cold afternoon. First pitch hitting high pop up. Give a chase, but again out of play and a windshield whacker. Down the line. And a ball. Of course, there are other reasons also besides gold hands. That is, uh, if a pitcher isn't really a pitcher but a thrower, just wind up and throw. Sometimes their control isn't as accurate. And a little ground ball through for the base hit single by Redding. And Eddie Harvey, the courtesy runner over at first. And Duke August, the batter. Sixth hit of the ball game, there goes the runner. Harvey, and he's in there with the stolen base. So the courtesy runner does his job moving over into scoring position. Which is low ball. Look back, pitch outside, a ball. And ball four. So August aboard by the walk and two on. And Henry. Palinski, the batter. Close the bunt. Bunts it down the line. Throw to first. They got him. And they're going to throw to third. And they got him at third. Is that a Harvey? I'm not sure why Coach Napoleon is upset with that one. Of course, I didn't see the whole play. But Eddie Harvey is out as he turned the corner and to dive back and didn't get there. So runner at second with two out. And here's Griff Ryan batting for Alex Calarco. And a ball. Two it out. Griff Ryan. And pitch a little wall. And ball four. 
Hunter takes off to third as the ball got away. Runners at the corners. Here's Matt Rode. Inside the ball. with their lead at the corners. They lock and load and well outside the ball. Catch Metro Chicago Sports Network games on demand, selected games on YouTube. And strike. We've got the basketball season up there. We got the football season up there. Got selected ice hockey games. And they got the runner on the pickoff. Uh, actually, it's a double steal. Play double steal, and it's not going to work. Olgus is out for out number three. And we're done with the sixth. And the Nutria Trevians lead it three to nothing as we go to the seventh. We'll be back with more. This is the Metro Chicago Sports Network. Don't be a party to today's drinking. Parents who host lose the most. A message in the public interest from the Metro Chicago Sports Network. We go to the seventh inning. Nutri Lady this one three to nothing. A lot of bees in the bat day. And new pitcher on the mound. And Spencer Beacom for the Trevians. High and outside of all. Spencer six foot seven. How would you like to have an entire starting rotation of players that big? Strike. Nutrier had that back in 2007. Swing and a miss. Strike. Strike three. So one away is John Westine. And takes pitch high and tie the ball. Another one high ball. Spencer going to play baseball in college. Pitch is high ball. And strike. Strike on the outside corner. And strike three. Caught him on the outside corner. Two up, two down, both via strikeouts. Yeah, Beacom cruising along here. Here's David Roscoe. Now they lock and load, ball ball back. Bad right now of Beacom and Redding. Outfield playing shallow and shaded to the left. Missed a little inside on the ball.
Another one inside the ball. And fall off. And a ball. Let's go, Vince. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. So David Roscoe bats. Last hope for Maine West. And strike three on the inside corner. And Pinkham struck out the side in the seventh. And the ball game all over. And the new Trier Trevians victorious. Three to nothing. Over the Maine West Warriors. Final word on this ball game for the new Trier Trevians. Three runs, six hits, one error. They were struck out three times. Walked five. Trevians left four on base and three stolen bases. For the Maine West Warriors, no runs, two hits. Whatever, they were struck out nine times. Walked just once. That was all the way back on the first batter in the first inning. Two was all they left on base. And one stolen base. So that'll do it for us for this ball game. Stick around for more sports action on the network all season long. And remember, catch selected games of the Metro Chicago Sports Network on demand on YouTube. And for all of us, we say as always, hope you enjoyed this broadcast. And we say so long.